Hey yo guys, welcome back. My name is HM and I hope you're doing absolutely fantastic. Today we're going to look at an older diamond, funny enough. Uh, I only had one copy of this and I didn't want to open it because I just like to have Drago's box. Have them for collection purposes and display purposes. But we actually managed to find another one and I've found quite a few of these. But I haven't picked one up until now. Today we're going to open up this beautiful Diamond Platinum Dragonoid and check out its stats, and I'm pretty sure that these uh, Ultras come with their evolutions, so this will be the first time I'm seeing this Platinum Diamond Dragonoid's evolution, so we're gonna go ahead and bust into this and check it out. Alright, let's see if this is gonna have the same tape issue that the other ones have had. We'll get right into it. It also doesn't tear very good. Like, the whole, the whole front part of this just tore. It hurts my collector's heart. It's okay, I have another though. Some sacrifices must be made. Okay, let's... Hey, it's not tape. Oh, nope, I lied. It's tape. <laughs> Get you out of your plastic prison. You dang security ties. Snip. Uh, there we go. Get you out of there. Hopefully easily? Question mark? Eh, sort of. Put you back there. Man, you look really cool in person. Get the cards open with the trusty scissors. Get those out of there and we'll look at them right away. What the world? Oh, it's a gate card. I was like, why am I seeing a blue character card in here? <laughs> uh, we've got our cores, as usual. Uh, plus 600, minus 3. That's actually a pretty good helix. That's one of the best ones. And one of the best green fists. Okay, you know what? We take those. Uh, we've got the checklist, as usual. Uh, a really, really neat really neat uh, Mutasect gate trainer that's actually really cool neat um, it doesn't it does have a bonus it's just really hard to see it's got a helix bonus okay cool cool I don't think we've seen that one yet and ooh, okay this is actually the first time I'm opening a platinum dragonoid because I did not pick up the standard one so I can't compare it to the diamond one so we've got a helix and a green fist and if you have wow if you have both of them plus 1,000 so, what I'm seeing right there is this would be really good in a Consort deck and a Domination deck. So, that's not terrible. So, this would be hitting 1650. No, uh, 1650 plus another 600. This is like this is like 2200 or something. That's really good. Uh, getting both of those might be kind of difficult, but it'd be worth actually going after. So, that is not bad. And for the Diamond Evo... Ho whoa! Okay. Wow, that really took me by surprise. I was expecting this to be super expensive. Three cost for a slight bump in B power and damage, but the effect goes up to plus 2,000. That is... that's wild. Uh, this is actually extremely viable. Three cost, wow. Uh, getting the Helix and the Green Fist is probably going to be a little bit more difficult if you're not running, like, uh... I think Aquafy is another one that can steal an opponent's core, but you would really want a core control centered deck for this Bakugan in particular, but this is really good. Holy moly. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and get Diamond Drago up closer to the camera because I'll be honest, I didn't care too much for this design when I seen it online and whatnot. But uh, in person, again, this always this always happens. If, when you see it in person, it is so much cooler. You have some really, really cool candy red plas plastic metallic paints, and the orange cuts into the red so nicely. I got some really cool fire designs as usual. Looks like you might have just a little bit of mist paint right here, which isn't a bad, like too bad, so I'm okay with it. A gold faction symbol, beautiful. All this metallic orange paint, it looks so sick. It actually looks so, so sick. <laughs> if my camera would stay focused, that'd be amazing. Okay, let's go ahead and, uh, let's get this closed. Let's see if it has the closing issue that a lot of these Platinum Dragos have. Uh, all in all, I gotta say, I'm actually super, super impressed with how this actually looks. I was not a fan at first, and man, it looks, it looks even cooler in ball form. It's so clear. Like, this is, this is what I expect the diamond to be. Like, I can see through this almost crystal clear. Some of them are really foggy. This one, though, this one is really doing a good job at being a diamond. This is awesome. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I've actually seen a diamond this clear before. 
Neat. That is amazing. Let's go ahead and get him back open with one of... Where's that gate trainer? Where'd it go? Where'd I put it? Whatever. I'll grab this one. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get him back open. See if he is in frame. I want to make sure. Boom. Nice. Slightly in frame. All right. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, please subscribe. Become one with the swarm. There's always room for new newcomers and whatnot. And uh, with this week, we are going to continue with a couple other diamonds. And I think we're going to open that Jetra we found a couple days ago. So hopefully you'll be looking forward to that. And I will catch you in the next one. See ya.